Hi guys, welcome to the channel and kaboom! Yes guys, welcome to my base review series. This is where we find some of the best bases out there, test them out in the Legend League, review them and then give them a score out of 10. And today guys, we're going to be reviewing this magnificent Town Hall 13 base and its performance in the Legend League as well has been equally magnificent. So in just a moment, we're going to check out some awesome Legend League replays so you can see the base in action, see how it performs. If you are impressed and you do want to download and try this base yourself, it's easy. Just head on over to the video description, click on the base layout link, and kaboom! Yes! The base will appear on your device just like that. And guys, do remember if you are new to the channel and you do want to see the latest and greatest base reviews, designs and Clash of Clans guides, hit that subscribe button and join the Samus army. Also, guys, do remember as well, I've just teamed up with some professional base builders. They're going to be making some custom bases just for this channel. Exclusive new bases that can't be found anywhere else. And I will be giving them to you. So do subscribe. Let's check out this base's performance then. So here's my Legend League defence log for the base. I'm going to scroll through. There you go, so you can check out the defences. So this base did really well, guys. In summary, then, we had 19 attacks against this base at the time of filming. 19 attacks. Of those 19 attacks, 1 was a 0-star attack, 6 were 1-star attacks, and 12 were two star attacks. The base did really well. People were really struggling just to try and take it down. I don't think people can quite work out what to do with this base. Not only does it look magnificent, but its performance was great as well. And I will be showing you in just a moment the best attack against the base, guys. So if you do come up against this base, it might give you an idea of how to try and take it down. So let's jump into our first replay now. Here we go. Kaboom. So look at the base. These circular designs are in at the moment and they're very effective. The circular designs are around the Inferno Tower. So anyway, Queen Walk has begun over there by the beautiful waterfall. Hi there, waterfall. I do uh, chill out by the waterfall myself sometimes when I'm feeling tired. Anyway, the Queen Walk has began. Yeti down there. And it's just a difficult base to funnel. Because, uh, yeah, you'll see in a moment. It is. It's a nasty base to funnel. And that Inferno Tower is having a great time just annoying the Queen there. So you've got a Yeti and Bowler down there. We've got a nice Golem and Battle Blimp. Max level heroes, four Earthquake spells. There they go. The little Wall Breakers. They're not going to help, though. And those poor healers... Uh, oh dear, they are being infernoed and they're all just one left now and that battle blimp now guys Let's concentrate on the battle blimp. It needs to get to the town hall if it takes down the town hall now It could be game over for the base, but no and who's that coming out the CC? Yes, it's my new clan castle troops that I've been trying out guys Wow 30 archers and 15 goblins Beautiful they will annoy you. Just imagine you're just walking down the street on the way to work and suddenly out of somewhere 30 archers, 15 goblins come running towards you. Exactly guys, it's not nice. Especially if you don't have a poison spell. They're still going. There's a go the goblin was taking on the king there. That was Gary the goblin taking on the king. Unfortunately the king just boom, took him out and oh, look at that guys. Two yetis leaving the arena. Dave and John. Goodbye guys. Nice knowing you. So what's going on here? Uh, that Royal Champ is being Infernoed. 44% one star at the moment. Is our attacker going to be able to get two stars? I don't know. Those skeletons are making it hard. It's the Grand Warden left. And uh, yeah, that wall is going to defy the king by the looks of things. And the Grand Warden, my Grand Warden, that is also Gary. We've got a lot of Garys here today. Uh, he is loving it. He's not even looking, guys. He's not even looking and he's just taking them out with his staff there. Grand Warden versus Grand Warden. Gary wins. 57 seconds left. Okay. You've got to do what you've got to do, guys. That archer is going to try and get the two stars. We're going to fast forward it a bit. Uh, and we're going to go over to the waterfall. Ah, beautiful. Can you hear the waterfall running, guys? Blah, 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 blah. That was my waterfall noise. Uh, but yeah, archer gone. There we go. So the waterfall won that battle for us. Into the next replay, no messing around. What do we got? E-Dragons, Balloons. Do they like this base? I'm not going to tell you. Let's have a look. So, there we go. E-Dragon on the left, E-Dragon on the right. Balloons and E-Dragons in the middle with a wall wrecker and the heroes. And our attack. They're just going for it. Just go Sometimes just going for it is the best thing to do. But E-Dragons, as we know, do not like to be funneled. They don't like to be told what to do. They're defiant. You say left, they go right. You know, you say, oh, it's a nice day today, and the E-Dragons go, no, it's not. It's horrible. But anyway, my troops are coming out now. 
uh, the CC troops, and they're going to try messing things up. Look at them streaming out the goblins. They're not going to be able to do much, are they? So they think, oh, they're taking on the Grand Warden. The town hall looks like it's going to go down here, though. But no, it just survived. Is it going to survive? Never in doubt. And now the goblins and the archers are off over there to harass the queen. And the queen is just saying, oh, dear, I've had enough. I've had enough. 64%. Can the queen take out the town hall? No, it doesn't look good. And we're not going to uh, yeah. focus back on the queen, Sir Moose. Go back there. It's important. She's trying to take out the wall, but no chance. And the king's there on the right, taking on that bomb tower. And he's going to be infernoed. And um, the E drags. Fair enough. That was so close. That town hall. Basically, you know, if a gust of wind just blew a leaf onto that town hall now, it would fall down. It's got no health. No health whatsoever. There we go. 72% onto our last replay. This was the best attack against the base uh, that we had at the time of filming, guys. So let's have a look. What do we got? We got some healers. Pekka, 29 hog riders. Okay, this is interesting. So the queen is on the battlefield, but I don't know what's going on. There we go. Up there. Sorry, guys. I uh, totally uh, got that replay mixed up there. I was just preoccupied talking to Gary, the Grand Warden. So, Queen... Ver I don't know why I'm going down there again. Go back up. Go up. These are pre-recorded, by the way. Uh, and then I commentate on them after, mostly. It's because where I'm uh, staying at the moment, the internet's really bad. Um, just telling you, just... I don't need to tell you this, but yeah, uh, we've, we've bought a new house and we're doing it up. And uh, yeah, we're just staying with some family and um, the internet is awful. And I hope my brother-in-law doesn't watch this video or hear me because uh, he might not be happy with me saying that. But the internet isn't great, no. So I can't live stream, but I will when we move, okay? So anyway, the Queen is trying to take out that uh, Eagle Artillery there. That's beautiful. Wall Wrecker is moving towards the town hall. In come. Look at that line of beautiful hog riders. Not for my base, though. So what are they going to do now? Three heal spells, one um, freeze and one poison. So that record's going to be able to take out the town hall. So how are the hogs going to get on against the mass archers and goblins? Let's have a look. It's a poison spell down on those archers. That's nasty. Uncalled for there. And the hogs are doing well. I guess that's the only danger with these CC troops. If they do stick together and they're poisoned, it's game over. The town hall is being ballooned. And there's some hog riders there just tapping away at it. And the town hall is down. So it's all about can these hog riders... Look, guys, those goblins don't give up. Look at that. The goblins are chasing the hog riders around. They're saying, we know you've got gold and we want it. And I think they have taken out the hog riders. That is quite magnificent. The king's still there. Pekka and Ice Golem, that Inferno Tower is doing a great job. The Grand Warden's trying his best, but he has been surrounded by enemy heroes. And I'm not sure if this is going to be a time fail. Grand Warden ability still hasn't been used, guys. I've just noticed that. The attacker's Grand Warden ability and Queen ability. So... This is going to be a time fail, isn't it? It's a 99% time fail. So, uh, and actually, sorry guys, my cat Lee is outside the door meowing at me now. Let me let him in. Come in. There we go. He can't make up his mind if he wants... Lee? What? Exactly. So, sorry, back to the replay. I always put a secret code word, guys, in my videos and ask you to put that secret code word in the video comments and I'll reply to each and every one of you. Today's secret code word is Lee the Cat. Lee the cat because he's just entered the room to watch the end of the replay there we go so there we go that was a tad unfortunate it was just that barracks that stopped our attacker getting three stars so let's summarize this base then maintenance break in five minutes that's fine so you can tell when I film this so this base magnificent looking base it's performed really as well really well as well people are struggling against this base half of it is probably that it's a bit unfamiliar people don't like attacking unfamiliar bases they like the you know the favorite bases that most people use they're easy to work out or they've seen some videos so this yeah lovely base out of 10 guys what are we going to give it its performance was good it looks stunning out of 10 we're going to give this base eight and a half out of 10 let me know what you think put the secret code word in the video comments remember we've got these awesome custom professional bases that we've got coming to the channel soon I will be sharing them in the next week or two. Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Any questions for me, put it in the video comments. This is Samu signing out. Pleasure, as always, uh, from myself and Lee the Cat. Lee? Yes, that was Lee saying, please subscribe. Uh, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.